Well, wasn't this nice? The perfect end to a perfect trip. If someone had told me six months ago this was where my life was headed, I'd have ordered a double of whatever they were drinking. Drunk it, then blown my head off. Another dark, rainy night. Another police station. Another futile crusade for amends. Time moves forward, and nothing changes. Every bastard in the joint must have known I was on the loose by now. I couldn't afford to waste any more time. Police food. The same crap the world over. But I could reminisce about the old days later. For now, there was more pressing matters to deal with. It looked like the prisoners were giving them a run for their money. That's what happens when you hand some roided up halfwit a commando uniform with special on the front and let him ride around his hometown in a tank playing soldiers. Sooner or later, someone's gonna decide he's not so special. There were a bunch more in the elevator, tooled up like they were about to roll into Fallujah. And of course, they were headed my way. If the heat was rising, that meant I was getting closer to the source. I had to keep moving. If there was one thing I learned since being in Sao Paulo, it was that me and the local elevators were not a good mix. Whatever depressing fate lay on the other side of those doors, there was no point in putting it off any longer.
I'd killed more cops than cholesterol, and still no sign of Becker. It wasn't the first time it dawned on... I still didn't know how I'd gone from drinking myself numb in New Jersey to looting corpses in Brazil. But this was where I was, 5,000 miles from a home I couldn't go back to on another suicide mission to clean up a mess that wasn't even mine. I'd spent my career dozing off in the briefing room. Now wasn't the time. starting to feel as if I'd never leave that place. Like one of those nightmares where you keep running and running only to discover you're chasing yourself. Tear gas. This wasn't good. I needed to find a way out of that stairwell and fast. That would have been too easy. My eyes and throat burned, but at least I could breathe. I was trying to work out what direction I was headed in when I discovered some more Brazilian architecture not designed for the American physique. There it was, the tape from the Bronco security system. Jesus, it was that guy. I had seen him in the favela, Bachmeyer, Becker's right-hand man. His time would come, him and Becker. I couldn't get that tape out of my head. Why had Ufe killed Rodrigo? I wasn't going to find any answers in the forensics lab. I had to push on. Hey, pal. Nice to see you. Vai pra casa, gringo de merda. I don't think we've been properly introduced. I know who you are. Then you should have killed me in the office when you had the chance. There's still time, meu camarada. Você vai morrer hoje, seu filho da p... 
Another pile of bodies and still nothing to show for it. It felt like I was detaching, that maybe this was revenge for something else, something buried deep in the past. It was a little late to be thinking about precautions, but something told me this shit show was barely through the warm-up act. Rodrigo, Giovanna, Passos, everyone who'd meant anything was gone. Like so many times before, I'd found myself alone, locked on a course of destruction. It was at my worst when I was at my best. Becker and Bachmeyer had taken their pound of flesh and sold it on the black market. Now I was coming for mine. Beleza, rapaziada. Bom trabalho. Só tô esperando a confirmação do outro grupo, mas o gringo já deve estar morto agora. Senhor, ele não parece estar morto. Filho da puta, pelo amor de Deus. Caralho. Me cobre aí, caralho. Pariu. Americans love to interfere in things you do not understand. Oh, I understand plenty, asshole. How stupid can one man be? You shouldn't have listened to that idiot, Da Silva! 
I hoped I'd be the one to kill you! I couldn't get a direct shot. I was gonna have to get creative. It was a waste of bullets. His cover was too good. Those ceiling tiles looked kind of loose. It was worth a shot. Give one to my regards! This was the passkey to Becker's office. I was close to the end of all this, and I could feel it. Becker! <laughs> Something funny about dying? I felt like the avenging angel. I looked like a fat, bald dude with a bad temper. You disgusting piece of shit! I know! Everything! Not everything, my friend. Let go of him, Max. Huh? Hmm? <laughs> There's a good fellow. Well, well, well. Victor, I was wondering when you'd reappear out of whatever slimy hole you live in. <laughs> I'd like to just say, Max, I just want to say thank you for all your hard work my family, and for cleaning up that horrible mess with the Crasha Preto for us. You know I'm tough on crime. I give you a bonus, but I think you just fritter it away. Becker, take his gun. Thomas, you feel the poop! They had barred the door. My only hope was to chase them down. I knew they'd be leaving town, and my guess is they would try to fly out of here. Rich people love to fly away. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> 